Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Today we are going to be decorating my dining room table and doing my little tablescape that I'm going to do for fall this year. Before we get into the decorating, I just wanted to show you guys what I have for it because everything is new. Um, and I picked up some new pieces since my fall decor haul as well, just a couple. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So from Amazon, I picked up a table runner and I got this one here. I'll link it down below. So if you guys are interested, you can get it. I think it was like $10. It was very inexpensive, but it's just this orange checkered buffalo check one with some fringe on the end. I'm really trying to have my dining room tablescape flow really nicely into my hutch this year. So I'm keeping with a lot of the same pumpkin. Like these muted orange and green ones. I do have another pack of those. These are from Hobby Lobby. Um, these were originally $9.99, but I got them 40% off. So I plan on adding those into the table. And then from Walmart's fall line, I picked up a few larger pumpkins. So I picked up two of these white flatter ones. These were $5.98 a piece. Again, just trying to flow really nicely into the hutch. And I think that, you know, keeping the same pumpkin color scheme will really help with that. And then the last pumpkin I have is this green one, again, from Walmart. I'm actually very impressed with these. This was, again, $5.98. I think that these look super cute. They had all different sizes, all different shapes, and all different colors. I was very impressed with their pumpkins. Um, I did just pick up those three, though. And then I also have this uh, eucalyptus garland from Hobby Lobby. This is from the wedding section. It's originally $19.99, but I got it when it was 50% off, so it was $9.99. And I do have eucalyptus up on the top of my hutch as well. So again, just keeping with the same color scheme, the same florals. I might grab out some ears lamb picks and add that in there. I don't know yet. Depends on how it all looks. I haven't played around with this at all. I just kind of have it envisioned in my mind, so hopefully it looks good. Also from Amazon, I just picked up these candlesticks. This is a pack of four. I did just get these white ones. However, when I was at Target yesterday, they're slowly starting to put out their dollar spot, their dollar spot items. And um, they had some really cute colorful ones and I kind of wanted to pick up some. But then at the same time, I was thinking that I have a lot of colors already on the bottom. So it might be nice to have some neutrals up top. So then last but not least, what inspired my whole idea here is these candlesticks that I got from Hobby Lobby. These were originally gold and they were about $3 a piece. So I did go ahead and spray paint these before we are getting into this video. I'm going to insert some footage here. I just took some flat black spray paint to get the look that I wanted to go for. If you guys watched my fall decor haul, you would know I found these in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby and was so excited because like I said, they're only about $3 a piece and it just really inspired what I wanted to do for my tablescape. I originally had a whole different idea that was going to cost a lot more money. So this really saved me a lot and I just think it's going to look a lot cuter, honestly. I think it's going to flow better with the hutch, um, which is something, like I said, I just really want to do this year. Last year, I think... I mean, it looked nice, my table looked nice, but it just didn't flow as nice, and so I really just wanted that nice flowy look, um, especially because we host Thanksgiving and stuff here, and so I just, I want it all to look really nice, and I really wanted to add some candles this year because I just love that, like, ambiance when you're eating a nice dinner with some lights going, um, candles lit, and everything like that. So, that is everything we have. Maybe I'll pull out some other things that I, if I need it. Um, but this is the stuff that I bought specifically for this table. So hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> um, like I said, I haven't played around with this at all, but we are just gonna go ahead and get right into the decorating. So before we get started, I'm just gonna wipe down my table with my Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Spray in the apple cider scent. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. And of course, I got it from Grove Collaborative, so I always have my Grove Collaborative link down below. Um, if you guys are interested in where I get my cleaning supplies, it's always right there. And I do wanna say as well, if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name's Tristina, and I post mommy decor, lifestyle videos, two to three times a week for you guys. I really just love inspiring and motivating you guys and inspiring and motivating myself as well. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I like to keep myself busy and doing YouTube is a great way to do that, especially because I'm showing you guys things that I would already be doing anyway. So if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy, if you like that kind of content, it would mean the world to me if you'd press the subscribe button and became part of our YouTube family. But anyways, we are just gonna start decorating. I'm obviously going to go ahead and lay down the 
um, table runner first and then I'm going to start playing around with the candlesticks and the pumpkins and the garland um, just trying to really make it all flow nicely together so let's see what we can come up with we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in don't know if I can decipher how your mind works yeah you leave me wonder so I definitely am feeling it needs something more. I didn't love that green pumpkin because I would just need like one more. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what more I need. Maybe just adding some more pumpkins will do it. I don't know. I'm just going to play around a little bit more, I guess, and see if I can figure something out. I do like, like the way it's coming out. I just feel like it's not as full as I would like. So I'm going to try and add a, another garland and see if maybe that fills it up a little bit. I only have lamb's ear garland, so I'm gonna try and mix them and see how that looks. So I do think that filled in the space a lot nicer. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the pumpkins. What it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this kid. Okay, that definitely just spilled it in a lot better. I kind of like the mixture of the lamb's ear and the eucalyptus as well because um, lamb's ear and eucalyptus is mixed throughout my living room and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and top it off with the candlestick. Resist to be a little risky and go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I I'm sorry, I know that all the baby stuff in the background is kind of distracting because it's just such bright colors, but you know, real life here. Okay, so this is the way it turned out. I'm actually really happy with it. I feel like it's really, it's like the most elegant tablescape I've had. Um, one thing that is bothering me is this candlestick is a little crooked, so my candle keeps like falling over a little bit. I think that I might try and put um, something in the bottom to straighten that out, but I am really happy with it. I think it looks really nice and how simple. So here it is, and like I said, it just flows so nicely with the hutch, keeping all the same colors. I'm really happy with it, and I think it will look really nice for you know Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So that is how it turned out. I feel like it was really simple, and the filming of the decorating was probably super quick. Um, but I just played around with some pumpkins and garland and can candlesticks, and like that all came together really quickly. I do like the way it came together, but if you have any suggestions, like I said, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing your guys' ideas as well. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I really like it. I'm just sitting here like looking at it. I just have to figure something out with that one candlestick because it is a little bent. But other than that, I am really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I hope maybe it gave you some inspiration. Super simple. You can probably do it with things you already have around your decor if you have a bunch of pumpkins and stuff like that. And guys, don't forget spray paint is a life changer. If you have something that you don't love anymore, but you still think you could incorporate it into your decor, spray paint it. Those candlesticks, $3 a piece, I spray painted them and got what I wanted out of it. And then just like in my fall decorate with me, if you watched that, I showed you guys I spray painted some garland to mute it a little bit more because I didn't love the bright, bright colors it was and I was able to use that and I love it so much better now. Um, if you have big pumpkins but you don't love the colors of it, get some paint and just paint them real quick, some chalk paint or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to press that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> we are currently getting ready to go on vacation. We're leaving today, actually. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'll be in a deaf animal. You what? I'm bringing a stuffed animal. Oh, you're bringing a stuffed animal? Brayden just packed all of his toys and he's impatiently waiting to show me what he packed. So, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Do anything to be in your arms again. So, give me a sign. Give me a sign.